Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this <coughs> example. Okay. So they have given one function to us. They have asked to find its poles with its order and we have to calculate residue also. So let me write a given function first. <coughs> we have what is the function we have f of z is equal to z square plus 2 upon z minus 1. So after that we have to find order of poles. So we are familiar with the definition of pole which involves Lorentz series expansion. But see when you have very simple example like this, no need to go for Lorentz series, uh, Lorentz series expansion. What will I do simply? I will observe the denominator. For what value of z the denominator will be 0? Can you tell me? Yes, 1. If I put z is equal to 1, 1 minus 1, 0. So that means for z is equal to 1, denominator will be 0 and the numerator is non-zero obviously. Getting? So z is equal to 1 is a pole. After that, what is its order? Tell me what is power of that bracket? Power of that bracket. Okay, so power nothing is there. That means 1 is there. So it's a z is equal to 1 is a pole of order 1. We also call it as a simple pole, okay, since it has order 1. So, therefore, z is equal to 1 is a simple pole of f of z, okay, clearly I will mention clearly. See, after that, we have to calculate residue of f of z at this pole, z is equal to 1. See, when you have simple pole, we have a very simple formula to calculate residue. Actually, the definition of residue is different. Okay, what is the definition of residue? It's a B1, which is coefficient of 1 upon Z minus Z naught. But see, no need to worry about it. Since we have, it is a very simple pole and we, I'm going to use that very simple formula, right? So, residue of F of Z at z is equal to 1. So, let me mention the formula. So, when you have a simple pole, the formula to calculate residue is limit z tends to z naught z minus z naught f of z. So, this is a formula we have. So, this time value of z naught is 1 since I am going to calculate residue at this point. Okay. Let us apply the formula limit z tends to z naught which is 1 here z minus z naught which is 1 here f of z so limit z tends to 1 will you guess the next step so obviously i am going to put the value of f of z this is value of f of z let us put so z square plus 2 upon z minus 1 so z minus 1 z minus 1 will get cancel right so what is the remaining part let me write limit z tends to 1 z square plus 2 now it's time to apply limit apply limit means what simply put z is equal to 1 okay everywhere so this is equal to by if you apply the limit 1 square plus 2 so it is 1 plus 2 3 so 3 is a required residue okay so in this way we finish this example make a screenshot of it then we will stop and we will meet in next video thank you see you